In this presentation, we will understand infinite while loop. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is introduction to the infinite while loop. The second topic is breaking the infinite while loop. Let's get started with the first topic that is introduction to the infinite while loop. So, what is an infinite while loop? A while loop can run infinitely if the condition never becomes false. We already know how a while loop works. A while loop is something that allows us to execute a piece of code a certain number of times based on some condition. If the condition is true, then the loop will run. If the condition becomes false, then we will get outside of the while loop. This means that the while loop will terminate. So, based on the condition, a while loop can run or terminate. Now, imagine the situation when the condition never becomes false. In that case, a while loop will run infinitely. So, one thing is clear that if the condition never becomes false, we will get infinite loop. Now, this is something we must always avoid. Because it is of no use to us and it is a waste of time and resources. We will understand how to avoid an infinite loop. But before that, let's understand how infinite loop works. For this, we will take one example. Let's say that n is equal to 100 and let's write this while loop while true. This is the while statement and here, in place of some concrete condition, I have written true. This means that we will never get false here. This is always true. So, this is one way to write the while loop. The condition never becomes false. Hence, the while loop will run infinitely. Now, inside this while loop, let's write print n and then n minus equal to 1. So, here we will print the value of n and then we will decrement the value of n by 1. Initially, n is 100. This condition is always satisfied. First, n is printed, which means 100 is printed, and then n is decremented by 1. Eventually, we will get 99 in n. Then, in the next iteration, 99 is printed, and then n is decremented by 1. We'll get 98. In the next iteration, 98 is printed, and the cycle repeats forever. Therefore, the output of this program is 100, 99, 98 and so on. So, we will continue to get the values, even the negative values as well. But the loop never stops. Now, the main question is how to stop this loop. Let's say, while writing the code, we encounter such a situation. Then, how to stop the loop in Visual Studio Code? For this, I want to take you to the Visual Studio Code. So, let's go to the Visual Studio Code. I have opened the Visual Studio Code and I have opened the Python work folder. Within this Python work folder, I have created this file infinite while loop.py and inside this infinite while loop.py, I have written the same code. Now, let's execute this code. Let's open the new terminal and let's type python space infinite underscore while underscore loop dot py. Let's hit enter and see what is the output. It can be observed that we are getting all the negative values as well. To stop this, we can press Ctrl C on Windows or Command C on Mac. So, let's do this. I have pressed Ctrl C. That is why I am getting keyboard interrupt here. And it can be observed that the loop is now terminated. This is the last value we have received. So, in this way, we can stop the infinite while loop in Visual Studio Code. Now, let's get back to our presentation. So, we have learned how to terminate the while loop in Visual Studio Code. Now, let's learn how to terminate the while loop programmatically. For this, let's move on to the next topic, which is breaking the infinite while loop. In order to break the infinite while loop, we can use the keyword called break. Break keyword allows us to break the infinite while loop. Infinite while loop is needed in those situations 
when we don't know the stopping condition beforehand. So, it might be possible that we want to stop the loop based on some user input. In that case, infinite while loop is useful. But to break the infinite while loop, we can use the break keyword and we can use the break keyword based on the user input. To understand this concept, let's take one simple example. Let's first write the while statement, while true. So, we are about to write the infinite while loop, but we will break this loop based on the input we will receive from the user. So, let's take the input. Let's say that this variable will hold the user input and the prompt looks like this. Enter the line or either type Q to quit. So, we are asking the user to enter the line or type Q to quit. So, user can either provide a line or provide Q to quit. Line variable will point to the string which is provided by the user. Now, let's check this condition. If line is equal to Q, if it is the case that the user input is Q, then in that case, we must break this loop or in other words, we must terminate this loop. So, for this purpose, we can use the break keyword. So, let's type break here. After using the break keyword, if this condition is satisfied, we will get outside of this while loop. So, this is how we can break the infinite while loop. Otherwise, we can continue and print the line. So, if we run this code, we'll first get this prompt, enter the line, type Q to quit. Based on the input, either we will get outside of this while loop and nothing will be printed or the input that we have provided will be printed on the screen and then we will again get the same prompt. To see this in action, let's execute this code in Visual Studio Code. I have opened the Visual Studio Code and I have created this file breaking while loop.py. I have opened this file and I have written this code which we have seen in the presentation. Now let's execute this code. Let's open the new terminal and let's type python space then breaking underscore while underscore loop.py. Let's hit enter. We are getting this prompt, enter the line, type Q to quit. Let's type hello. Let's hit enter. We are getting hello on the screen and then we are again getting the same prompt. This time let's type Q to quit. It can be observed that Q is not printed and we are not getting the same prompt again because as the input provided is Q, this condition is satisfied and because of the break keyword, we are now outside of this while loop. This is the reason why we are getting this path again. Now let's get back to our presentation. I hope it is clear how this code works and how useful is the infinite loop. The infinite loop is useful when the stopping condition is not known beforehand and we need to stop the loop based on the user input. So with this, we are done with this topic. And this means that we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.